So I have an audition. Yeah. For something I've never auditioned for, but it's something that's a staple for most actors. Porn. Yeah, exactly. Excellent. I'm not watching, but congratulations. Well, maybe not anymore, but it used to be. Okay, so it used to be a staple for actors. Everybody auditioned for it. Everybody was on it. Desperate Housewives. <laughs> what? Eight our lives. Oh, oh. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Just- hey, welcome back to our stupid acts of Corbin. He's a soap opera star. I wish, man. That's good. Uh, it's good steady work right there, buddy. Uh, no kidding. Also on Instagram and Twitter for more juicy content. Everybody, thank you for some Patreon. Follow Twitter account. Subscribe to the like button. Uh, and today, uh, we're like this because my family has been sick, man, and still are, sadly. Uh, you can probably yeah. hear it in my nasally voice. Um, you actually don't sound that bad. But uh, it's rough here. A lot of snot here. Terrible. Lots of snot and gobbledygook coming out Ooh. of orifices. One four-year-old sick, two 20-month-olds sick. That's how it works. It's uh goes through the whole family. A lot of snot. Anyways, yeah. but uh this dropped yesterday. Sorry for just getting to it once again. Sick. Uh, but the new uh, it's I think it's a teaser for the Sanjali Bansali show. Uh, that we heard about a long the, time. the TV series. Yes, yes, the TV series. Yeah. It's called Her. Cool. Say it right there. Say what it's called. Hiramandi. Hiramandi. Uh, the yeah. Diamond Bazaar. Okay. Is that how you pronounce that? Bazaar? Uh, yeah, Bazaar. The Diamond Bazaar. Um, That's what it sounds like to me. But I we once we heard that, that Sanjali Bansali was going to be doing a freaking series... We were very excited. Oh, my stars, yes. Um, I don't know how you couldn't be. T- to have that grandeur on a on a series. Right. That's that's just cool. That's just cool. I like it. That a lot. is. Um, so let's yeah. see what this is about. Oh yeah. <laughs> right out the gate. Oh my god. We're in Sanjay's world again. Yep. It's I think he wanted you to know right out the gate. Uh, yep, it's me. Yeah. Wow. I say it just felt like we were back in Padmavada Baji Rao, right? Instantly. The yeah. first frame. First frame. That's what it felt like to me. Yeah. Um, and God, there's there's obviously a bunch of directors that we love, but there's certain directors that you love being in the world. You love it. Um Certain ones are more for, obviously, I think Sanjay's a, a complete package, his stories. He usually gets great performances out of his actors. and, and right. But obviously, you could just watch a Sanjay film usually um, just for the visuals, especially yeah. stuff like Padmavada Bajirao. Yeah, yeah. This, this, this is... Seems like it. This is everything I would hope for with his name attached to something. It looks, I mean, instantly, it's got his signature on it. It's beautiful. I'm intrigued. Can't wait. I didn't see a date. Did you see a date on there? I just said coming soon. Uh, All right. So kind of like your mother. Yeah. Well, she's usually pretty on target, as you would know. That's true. Um, yeah. But uh, that looks so cool and so beautiful. And it's going to be so interesting to see that. I mean, I know we we started off Sanjay uh, just on a small screen. And we've only ever seen one Zay Sanjay film in theaters. And that was right. um, the, the Alia one. Uh, right. And that was obviously a really cool part of that film. Um, sorry. What's going on here? No. 
trying to search on IMDb. Um, but to see his films on the big screen, I think is something so cool. Um, to, so to see it on a small screen, this is just going to be fun. I'm, I'm sure we'll do a watch along of it just because it's a, this is a pretty big moment for OTT. I feel like. Yeah, I, I do too. Um, obviously OTT has been growing the past few years, but it's more been the crime dramas. And, but then we just saw, obviously, even though I, I didn't hear good things about it, the, the Rohit Shetty came to OTT. So they're getting these big directors now to come to OTT and do their thing, whether they work or not, obviously is, is, is a different thing, but Sanjay, um, that's just going to be so interesting. Sanjay Basanji brings his a majestic signature flair to the story of love and betrayal in the lives of courtesans in pre-independence India. Uh, first episode releases 2024 is all it says. Okay. Yeah. With him helming it and what we just saw there, obviously it's just a first look. It wouldn't surprise me if this has the scope and the size and the immersive feel of, say, HBO's Thrones and, and Amazon's Lord of the Rings. It looks like it's just got the immersive sense of and why they wanted Sanjay doing it is that you're going to be immersed into the world. Yeah. God, I, 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 I can't. I love wait. his cinematography and his sh shot styles. Um. The, I think the first thing, I think it was you that ever said uh, when we saw his first thing was the symmetry that he loves doing in his in his films. Is yeah, and use of light. Yeah, like every shot is symmetrical. Every shot yes. is like I said. I think I said it fifteen times. Like, oh my god, this feels like Padmavat uh, and and Bajira, which I yeah. think of, of the films that we've seen. Even though every film of his that we've seen has a really beautiful framing, those two in particular stick out to me especially yeah no jewels no nobody does a more beautiful historic epic than sanjay lila bansali it's just and it's it's the totality you know the primary thing is the cinematography and the lighting but it's also his production design and costuming is always off the charts it's it's i i'm so excited for this yeah um and is is film like obviously historical is what you just said but it's he yeah. makes it hyper beautiful realism um yeah nothing, nothing in real life looks that beautiful <laughs> right you don't go somewhere and you're like oh wow this looks like a sanjay no he just makes everything with the color correction he make he heightens everything and and obviously his production uh, quality that he puts on i'm sure he's like a nolan in terms of like he likes uh this stuff to be real on on the time i'm sure he's very similar to nolan in that. i bet he's a cinema purist that's what he strikes me as at least mm -hmm. oh, yeah look, yeah though? Mark Benning. And the great the, the great thing about him is that he's a lot like Nolan as well and that he doesn't just go simply for cinematography and production design. He always has great actors and he always has good story. He's a he's a full well-rounded filmmaker who when his name is attached to something you're just excited because you're going to get I'm using the word it's going to be elevated. It, hmm. It's just going to be elevated. So, I didn't recognize anybody in it but we've seen a lot of these actors in certain things except for I recognized face this is Mark, what I couldn't put the names with the faces. Mark Bennington is in it, though. How, how many? How how much is he in it? I it hope he's in it a lot. Doesn't say. Oh, it says. Oh. Uh, well, it does actually. Sorry, it says one. He's in one. Yeah. Oh, where? Uh, okay. At least if, if IMDb is to be believed, it right. looks like there's probably eight episodes because each episode uh, for uh, it says for the main people at the top of IMDb uh -huh, uh -huh. have eight. And so I'm does guessing it, how many episodes it will be. Does it show it as a limited series or is this season one of a potential multi-series, multi-season series? It doesn't say. Okay. Speaking of a Netflix series, I've been talking about it a lot. Griselda's really good. Yeah. I've heard you. Uh, yeah. I saw you post about it. Yeah. It's really good. Anyways. Oh my God, that looked great. Uh, that looked beautiful. Uh, anyways, let us know what you thought about it. If you're excited for it down below. Just 